hello hello guys so we're back with uh, the video which i promised so i promised you guys uh, what a next strategy and is definitely what i'm gonna deliver for you so yeah guys uh thank you for the 1000 subs let's get to 2000 guys let's get to 2000 because it is doable it is doable don't just watch the video please click the subscribe button please subscribe to my video click the like button if you like what i'm doing um please comment if you have anything to ask or anything at all just uh yeah just highlight me guys just highlight me so since you guys didn't choose because i uh, i said between the next deck and the volatility 75 strategy i'm gonna be giving away one so since you guys were quiet you didn't say you didn't say anything so i made up uh, the choice by myself which is are you gonna be getting the next strategy so i just hope you guys have um something to write by your corner so anyway again guys again i'm saying thank you a lot thank you so 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 much for the support so yeah guys let's keep on growing keep on subscribing so another thing is you have to watch this video up until the end you have to watch this video up until the end guys because this information is is, is 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 very 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 much important very very much important so next day guys consists of two uh different part of trading or let me say two strategies you understand so we have technical and then we have fundamental so all in all it's one strategy but we have technical we have fundamental so when i say technical it's like when u.s says um or let's say u.s and china they're having a trading war you saw what happened to nasdaq back then that's fundamental you understand they don't affect the market directly but they what they doing to each other's economy they do what they affect the what the next day companies because next day consists of 103 companies it was 100 companies that's why it was called nest 100 so now it has 103 companies guys so but it's still nest 100 you understand so what i'm saying is if the economy falls if the economy falls if the u.s economy falls it means what it simply means the next deck will do what will fall because that's a uh, hundred companies which are making what are not making profits which means the next deck will do what the next deck will fall so as you can see i i also have dropped them which is uh tesla amazon and uh this and apple so guys apple is the major 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 company Ap apple is the biggest company on what on nasdaq so as you can see it was rising look at the percent it was rising 64 percent nasdaq was rising how much uh, 67 so uh, if you can look at this guys you'll see look at uh, amazon and look at tesla tesla was falling and it felt um mm, mm, with a uh, 1.8 percent but still nasdaq was going up so meaning that uh, apple is the major company apple is the company which pushes nasdaq up 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 so at least you have to always be updated about what's going on with apple is technology if they release a new phone it means good news if like like during the lockdown if people were not able to at least get access to buy things or go shopping like all those things and everything. so that's why nasdaq was doing what nasdaq was uh weak that's why it was falling 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 so now since uh, the market uh, is uh, all the economy people are opening the economy meaning that uh, they are now uh, things are now back to what back to normal right so what i do it's like like i said that we have fundamental of technical so in technical 
I use price action. So, but before we get to that part, let's start about the fundamental part. Né? So, like I said, guys, sorry. Like I said, I check what Apple. So Apple gives me direction. So another thing I do is let me simply go out. Another thing I do is, as you can see, guys, I have uh, this app, CNBC. I have this app, guys. This app is very, very, very much helpful. Uh, I will show you why I'm saying it's helpful. As you can see, it tells me everything Trump is doing. Because Trump has a major, major, major role in what in the economy trump has a big 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 or he plays a big role in what in the economy so everything guys everything they say in here is important everything everything so when they say Dow jones or Dow jones sp500 nasdaq is the same thing it's the same thing so this is Dow jones this red one is Dow jones sp500 and then this thing they move together they move in the same direction at the same time so if they say Dow jones is rising 200 points that means nasdaq is also doing what is also rising 200 points so it's the same thing if you can analyze nasdaq using Dow jones or sp500 it's the same thing guys so yeah um so i at least you should try to get this app as you can see it notifies me every time something happens in the market every time every time so yeah you should try getting this app again and then another app let me log out of this one another app is this one another app is this one i also get notifications from this app so like how i target my interests um if i know that if okay if it fell or if it falls uh, like uh, maybe let's say uh, more than 100 points or more than one percent i expect a reversal of more than one percent again i'm not sure if you're getting my point or not but uh, let me check this deck in here but it is here so like I'm saying, guys, it's the same thing. You just check. You just set your, your reminders that, okay, as soon as something happens in the here, you when I will get a notification. As you can see here, this is Down Jones. This is Down Jones, guys. Uh, and then you can go to news. They will explain to you what's going on. They will explain to you what's going on. So don't be lazy to read because these things are very, very, very much important, guys. So... Yeah, don't forget we're still on the what on the um fundamental part, né? So or you can simply look at uh SP five hundred. You can look at SP five hundred. Then I'm just saying that okay, like this app. Then we also have uh investing.com. Let me check for another one which I normal which I use most of the time. Yeah, we have uh, Bloomberg, guys. We have Bloomberg. Where is it? Where is it? Yeah, this one. We have Bloomberg. So it also notifies me every time something happens in the market. It also notifies me. I understand, guys? As you can see, I already have one notification. Let me check my notifications and see. You see, this is Bloomberg, guys. This is Bloomberg. So... It notified me. It told me that. Uh, it told me that. Uh, I'm sorry about that, guys. But okay, uh, never mind what it told me. But as you can see, I have a notification there. So it always notifies me, like when something major happens in the market, ne? So yeah, guys. Uh, that's that. Uh, I think that's my fundamental part. That. That is how I at least check the fundamental part. And then coming to the technical, guys, um, we'll have to delete everything I've analyzed and then start again together. Oh, I just hope you have something to write, guys. I just hope you have something to write.
so let me just flip my screen for you so we can start so guys uh how you do this is uh you, you i think it's wise if if you analyze i mean if you cancel everything cancel everything guys and the, when you want to analyze you do what you zoom out completely zoom your chat out completely so you can at least be able to see your what to see uh, those uh, swings so you can be able to see the swings so as you can see i'm zooming out so i just want to show you a quick example here this is each one ne? this is one ah this is four hours sorry this is four hours so trading a uh, next day you can use four hours you can use uh you can use uh one hour you can use 15 minutes you can use 30 minutes so those are the time frames i always use those are the time frames i always use so it's up to you which ones you prefer so you can adjust you just hope you see my analysis guys so don't don't like don't forget uh, this thing always moves in what in channels Nasdaq always moves in channels. I just hope you know what a channel is. So we have that channel. Let me try to. Yeah, so we have something like that, guys. As you can see, as you can see. And then we have what here? We have a major support here guys sorry i don't know why my phone is doing that i don't know and then we have this support there as you can see for yourself guys that's what i'm saying uh, at least try to do what try to 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 um to And then you put a line there this is h4 don't forget you put a line there and then you put a line there why because you see that that's where it's bouncing off on my trend line put another line there put another line there and then you can you can put another one away you can put another one there yeah let me put it there and then the upper part you put another one there our okay we put another one sorry about that guys uh, You put another one there because that's who that's where it's bouncing off ne? on our what on our um what's this on our channel ne? so that channel will serve as our what as our entry point okay we can delete this one it's fine so the channel acts as our or it serves as our what as our entry point right so you simply what you do is you simply zoom you can zoom in it's up to you you can zoom in it's up to you let me zoom in so i can show you the touches let's zoom in let's zoom in as you can see guys as soon as we hit uh the support on our channel because the downtrend line is acting as a support then the upper one is acting as our what as our uh resistance so myself this is how i trade nasdaq i don't 
sell Nasdaq. I only look for what buying opportunities. So it can hit uh, the, the 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 upper trend line, which I won't do. I won't do what I won't sell. But as soon as it comes back to hit uh, the lower one, I always buy. As soon as it comes to hit it, I buy always, always, always. I don't sell Nasdaq, guys. So I don't know if when I want to sell it or not, but I don't sell Nasdaq. So that's one example. That's one example. So, okay, let's now check what? Let's now check our those uh, zones or those lines we just put. Ne? Let's check what happened. Uh, as you can see, the first one was respected here. Hey, sorry, guys. Sorry about that. My phone is... Let me let me just highlight it. Eh? Let me just highlight. So as you can see, we have the first respect. -ish. Sorry, we have the first respect. Uh, we have the first respect there, as you can see that just to show that the lines we put are respected. Second respect there. This one is also respected. The market came again. It respected here respect again respect again which means now expecting a respect where here you understand guys i don't know if you understand or not i don't know if you understand or not but if you understand just drop some comments just drop some comments so like i'm saying we own we, we like we we only analyzed these parts we only analyzed these parts where the market it touched where the lower trend lines and then where it touched the upper ones even though i didn't want to mess up my chart by putting a lot of lines but as you can see a respect a respect a respect a respect a respect a respect and then now we're coming here so it shows that okay what we're doing is what is valid so you can go to h1 i always trade Nasdaq using what? H1. I use H1 at all times. So don't forget my instructions, guys. You zoom out everything. You zoom out everything. So I went back to H4. Then this is H4. So, like I said, guys, I don't do what? I don't sell Nasdaq. I only look for what? For buying opportunities. The reason why I run sell is because Nasdaq consists of companies and Nasdaq itself is a company. So the reason why I run sell is because you know that every company always it wants to grow. There's no company which wants to fall. You understand? So I believe that Nasdaq is a company, it always wants to grow. That's why I'm always looking for what? Buying opportunities. Because I think it's going to do better than last time. That's why I always look for what? Buying opportunities. So Nasdaq is always buying. If you've realized Nasdaq is always buying, unless there's a crisis. Unless there's a crisis, that's when it's going to fall. Like now, you see, we're facing this lockdown. That's why Nasdaq is falling. You understand? So, yeah, that's that, guys. So, as you can see, guys, we have another channel there. We have another channel. Uh, so, you see that uh, we have those touches, we have those touches there. So... You see that it's going up. It's forming swings, but it's definitely going up. So, uh, what what you look for, like when you trade Nasdaq, is at least you can look for what 
for candlesticks confirmation candlesticks pattern so i'm gonna make a video on candlesticks pattern that okay this candles they represent what 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 this candle they represent what, what. but as for now let's stick to the strategy and like i'm saying guys so if you can learn or teach yourself to master what i just did here you can also do what you can also kill us deck. so another thing is okay so this is what we did ne? so you we see that okay like i told you that now we're waiting for a respect here so it might reach here and sell again to this point because you see that this era was respected and then the market reached there and it sold it broke out and it came for a respect so you see that this area is respected so it might respect here fall to respect here and then go up i'm not saying that's what is going to happen listen to me i'm saying it might it might so you, you you just have to be prepared for anything so it might just break here but it won't just break and shoot up no it might just break here consolidate consolidate and then break up you understand guys so it might do that it might there are possibilities that there are possibilities that a uh, next deck might do that okay break this high consolidate shoot up or from here comes for a retest here shoots up or do you see this trend line the black one this one this one here below it might break come to retest the trend line something like this it might break come for a retest here this trend line and then go up again that's what i'm saying i'm always looking forward buying opportunities on what on next deck always always guys i'm always buying next deck i don't sell next deck i don't know if you're getting me or not but that's how i change this deck so if maybe you want to use lower time frames let's check on h1 and then what's going on and then let's check h1 as you can see our analysis is still valid you see our analysis is still valid guys so when i say it's still valid i'm talking about this we have one we have two so to those who sell next deck you could have sold and as soon as it reached that uh high or upper trend line you sell as soon as it reaches there you sell i don't sell i always look for this buy 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 here again you understand i always look for those buy here i don't know if you're getting my point or not but that's what i'm always looking for so yeah, that's how i trade next deck so another thing let me try to check what's left um that's that guys i think i think i think you guys are covered right now so let's check m15 eh? let's check m15 m15 it's the same thing again i see the same thing my analysis is still valid the analysis is still valid analysis is still valid guys so yeah guys that's how we trade next deck ne? that's how we trade next deck so i'm not saying you should i'm not saying you should always buy you can sell like i showed you here on one hour that okay sell us if 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 you sell next deck as you can see here don't forget these lines we've put them long time ago but you see you could have sold from there. You could have sold from there again. You could have sold from there. If you're selling this deck, you could have sold from there. You could have sold after that breakout. You could have sold again there. You understand, guys? If you're selling this deck. And then, 
if when now you see that, that okay you also want to buy next day only these are our opportunities you buy there you buy there so if you buy here if you buy here let's ask these guys if you buy here our target is here because that's support and resistance you understand then if it breaks here again it means we're targeting where it is because we saw that it's moving in our in a channel then for sellers if you sell here our target is here but you know that okay we're targeting what this zone because you know that from a support we have to reach a what a resistant you understand so that's why I'm saying I always buy because look look at the trend. The trend is the uptrend, but it's moving like this. But what's the main trend? It's the uptrend. You see? But it's forming high and lows, high and lows, high and lows. So like I said to you guys that uh, we like we call this a what? A ascending channel. Because it is going up. But it's going up with what with zigzags. So let me just show you another example. Why I'm saying I'm always buying a stack. Let me check for you another example. I hope you can see this one as well. Okay, let's take this part. So after this part, we'll check another one. The reason why I'm saying I'm always buying a stack. Let's check this one. Then we have uh, that one, and then as you can see, guys, I hope you see what's happening. Hope you see what's happening. This thing is always going up, next deck is always buying. It's always buying. Look at this channel. After this channel, we have this channel, which is going up. So now it dropped like this because of what? Because of coronavirus. So we have another ascending channel. Let's go back, guys. Let's go back. So let's go back. I just want to show you that this thing is always in a what? A uptrend. Always. Here's another channel. Here's another so the guys that's the secret people don't share with you nasdaq is always on an uptrend that's the secret people won't share with you this thing is always buying so that's why i'm not saying don't sell nasdaq obvious it will retrace even if it can buy for the whole year it will retrace there's no way that it will buy without retraces no it will retrace but uh myself that's what i'm saying myself i always look forward buying opportunities only i don't sell nasdaq i don't sell nasdaq so as you can see we have that one again also a what a ascending channel also what the ascending channel guys so don't forget always put your channel ne, so that you can spot your entry point always put your channel. so I will, even if i can leave it there i just hope you can see that's why i'm saying you buy from the bottom of the channel and then you take your profits away you buy from here sorry guys you buy from here you buy here you, you take profits here. you buy here until you hit here if when are you capable of holding you can hold as you can see we bought here it went up it went up automatically it hit here and then it started dropping to give us another buy entry again here as you can see it bought here it went up it, to hit our tp there which means our channel is valid it hit our what our resistance because this one acts as a resistant and then this one is a support, right? 
then it went up to hit this level and then now it's coming back down up and as soon as it hits our what our resistant it will retrace as soon as it hits our resistant it will definitely retrace you understand and that's a lot of money that's a lot of money so you see we have that retracement there have that retracement so you can also put a what a channel Nasdaq is always moving in channels, guys. See, moving in channels, always. So we have that channel. So we have that one. Or let me change the color so you can see. Then we have that one. And then that one, it's a what? It's a descending channel. Why? Because it's going up. So we're always moving in channels, guys. I hope you see. I hope you see what I'm talking about. So this is ascending channel. Why are we saying it's ascending channel? You see? You see? And then it broke here. You can see this breakout. It broke that area. It broke that area. So a breakout, you like we won't trade this one because this is the beginning of a what of ascending trend as of ascending what channel. So let me show you guys. This thing it talks. It, it, it this thing is talking to you. This thing is talking to you. Uh, Okay, somewhere there so it broke out uh, it broke out there we have a breakout there which means and you know that the breakout is cancelling what the trend which means it cancelled there it cancelled the what the ascending channel because we were expecting a movement like this we we're expecting the market to from here we we're expecting it to hit here and then continue with maybe the descending channel but it didn't it showed us that okay now the sellers are tired and then the buyers are taking over so it broke this one it came for a retest and then it when i could have bought after this retest and then you know that okay it will give us a what it will give us a high so your high this is how we spot your high let me show you that uh, the things i'm talking about this is how you spot your high. This is how we spot our high, guys. This is our high. So, I hope you understand, guys. You see? So, like I said, after this breakout, you wait for a retest. After this retest, you buy, you take your profits here. So, even though it broke, but you see that the distance is not that far. So it broke, it consolidated, it consolidated in that area, showing that this area, it is respected, consolidated, and then it went up, which means now we already have a what? You know that, okay, now we, we, are, we are on an ascending, ne? ascending channel, and then it hit there, and then now you can, at least you can connect your trend line there and there, and then you can also connect there and there, you understand? So as soon as you have that connection, that's where you can start buying that's when you can start buying this deck that's when you can start buying this deck i just hope you you guys understood everything i just told you i just hope you understood so yeah guys that's that that's that that's that so if 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 you want the full course if you want the full course guys we can go on and on let's check again we can go on and on still you will see the same thing you will see the same thing ascending channel and then you know the market has to breathe it breathes it give us a what descending channel but it will give us a what it's like here we can manage to come out with a what a descending channel let me show you like here from this area maybe you drag your trend line down 
so it you drag it down like this and then something like this sorry guys sorry sorry this thing is not working well i don't know what's the problem let me just leave it there and then we have that uh, ascending channel we have that ascending channel as soon as we have a breakout as soon as we have a breakout you know that no now the the what the trend is doing what is changing you know that okay we're changing a trend right now so that's when you will start doing what you will start looking for what for buying opportunities you understand guys so yeah that is that that is how we identify uh our buying points and our selling points so like i showed you if you're a good listener eh, i'm gonna be seeing people making profit soon you understand guys i'm gonna be seeing people making profit soon so that's that guys uh i just hope this video satisfies your needs just hope the video satisfies uh everything you wanted to know about nasdaq so don't forget um if you don't have twitter you should check out twitter for donald trump download twitter and follow donald trump because he plays a he plays a huge, huge 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 role in the market so yeah guys uh, download uh twitter and download all those apps i just showed you for all those updates and there's this if you have this tv please there's this uh, channel i think it's channel let me check for you so it's cnbc like the app i was showing you but yeah you're getting live updates what's going on on the market we also have bloomberg on the dstv guys so those things such 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 things i think you should always be watching for because they're telling you what's happening at all times so yeah uh, the cnbc one it's channel four it's channel four 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 uh, sorry it's channel four ten four ten four ten channel four ten and then you'll see it's cnbc and then keep watching those things guys keep watching those things so you can know what's going on with the economies you can know which pairs are strong which pairs are weak if the us is strong or weak then that's when you can be able to kill nasdaq you understand guys so nasdaq doesn't need fear at least if you have fear don't trade nasdaq you understand so yeah guys that's that uh, like i said i just hope the video will satisfy your needs and meet all the requirements you were looking for so yeah that's that guys um i just hope you have a good uh trading uh trading week next week i just hope you guys will kill next deck so yeah okay guys i'm out i'm signing out i'm signing out i'm signing out right now so okay before let me